Hello gamers and welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Oscar from Sweden. So basically, a new test place update. <laughs> Hit the test place today and it's pretty darn big, not gonna lie, it's fucking... Uh, yeah, it's big, alright? So basically, what they added, I'm gonna name like... From the whole change log basically, so I'm just gonna go from top to bottom. So first, they fixed KSG12 not having animal sites. Okay, fix L2A pre lasers causing some problems. Okay, fix MP40 pistol grip not using the clamp. Blah, fix plus P typo in description. Wow, huge game changer. Made Malcolm 6x scope actually be 6x zoom. You know, it wasn't before, I don't know. Fix carry handle alt model for the C7A2 and adjusted all placements for AR15 models. Fix a bunch of other stuff related to the KAC SRR. Added Malcolm scopes to jury. Added Malcolm scopes to more guns, such as sniper rifles. Fixed up the Opter 1200M or and 1200M sight on MP5 family. Now here comes the good parts. Added 100 round C mags for M231. Uh, it's in ammo because technically it's using a different ammo type entirely. So you can use, I mean, a blue laser and a fat ass mag. I don't know. Fixed BFG 50 suppressor having hard set damage, fixed Hecate, Hecate suppressors having hard set values too. Brand new grip. Okay, here comes the good juicy stuff. Sideways grip. Main gimmick is that it provides a new alt aim to any gun it's attached to. So I have a little bit of critique. Well, I don't know. So basically it gives you alt aim, but it does not give you enough pros to actually be used. So here's what I'm trying to say. You could use a folding grip, and then just use AMT Terminator if you wanted all team that actually good. So you know, you could and get it low recoil. So I don't see an actual use for this grip at the moment. But you know, uh, you know, because AMT Terminator has the best all team in the game because of its low magnification. It has lower magnification than normal all team, which is kind of insane. Meanwhile, I think this sideways grip has the same as the others, like 1.3 times. Meanwhile, the AMT Terminator has one times. So I really don't see a reason to use this on anything if I'm gonna be honest because you, because you could just use folding and AMT terminator and it would just be better you know okay enough about that new serbo model and new animations dude these new animations on the new serbo makes me want to fucking main the gun dude I want to use this just as a primary can we please yeah, I don't know dude it looks so mm, it looks sexy <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I'm calling an animation on a Lego gun sexy, but you know it really is, you know New attachments for the Obres front sight barrel attachment puts a front sight on your Obres no stat bonuses It's free Obres long barrel reduces natural spread but at the cost of aim plus equip speed and higher recoil Well, I don't think recoil would matter at all if I'm gonna be honest because of the fact that you still bolt and you get less RNG, you know, but I feel it doesn't increase muscle velocity for some reason I, I think I feel like it should increase it a little bit at least like 8 to 1800 stats per second muscle velocity It shouldn't I, the barrel is so long that it should at least affect it somewhat you feel me and Obre stock reduces natural spread but at the cost of aim plus equip speed and higher recoil So it's basically the same. So yeah, you get lower RNG for that, so you could use Obra's long barrel and over stock, and you get lower RNG, and it it acts more like a Mosin, I guess. Carry handle sights are now free for the AR for AR-15 style rifles, to make it a trademark of the family. Carry handle positions and etc. Also adjusted on each of the guns listed below to look more pleasing. Applies to Mark 11, Beowulf TCR, Beowulf ECR, Honey Badger, and HK460. And this basically means that it looks like an M16 or AR15 carry handle now. And the front iron aren't like weird, you know? New melee, world buster. The much more chunkier reskin of the longsword. Same range, similar animations case unlock only so this is the fat ass sword from final fantasy final fantasy i think and it's it's a big i don't know dude it's <laughs> it's it's strong it's a chunky ass sword you feel me i don't know 
it's it's slow too. I think you have 13 walk, walk speed, while other me melees have like has like 16 walk speed. You know, it's it's really slow. Slight nerf to the M231 drums. 500 spare ammo down to 200. So yeah, I said it in the uh, M231 drum video I made not like two days ago that they would reduce the reserve ammo and i bet that on 200 or 300 so here we are 200 reserve which i think is fair you know two magazines it's it's a lot of bullets you know hypo requested that the c7a2 fire sound should be changed due to some sourcing issues or something sad phase so basically basically it sounds like an m16 now well a normal m4 m16 you feel me m4a1 Added extended magazine to the Saiga 12U. Dude, <laughs> it's good, but it reloads so slow. This is like your perfect panic shotgun, feel me? Like, 8 bullets, I, I mean 8 shells in a magazine is just kind of amazing, I can lie. But you only have one magazine reserve, which is not a lot. So you have 8, you spawn with 8 shells in a magazine, and you have another magazine you can reload with. Change Howling Raven. Mosin slash Obris extended magazine reload an uh, animation. Now it reloads twice to load all 10 runs into the gun. It actually works really well. So it, it takes a little bit of time to reload for 10 bullets. So I don't really feel like, you know, straight pull is still more useful than extended mag in my opinion. Like if I would use extended mag on Mosin, I would just use the SVDS. You feel me? I, I, I don't feel like it's... Eh. Buff penetration and ranges of the 375 Shade Tack and buff penetration and ranges of the 416 Barrett. And this is what I wanted from, well, what I said uh, in my last video that they should buff penetration and range because I thought it was outrageous to have two stealth penetration on a gun that shoots 416 Barrett, you know? But now it's actually somewhat reasonable. I still wouldn't use it on the intervention because 150 studs towards the kill range is like the lifeblood of the intervention. But I would use 416 Barrette on the M107 because, you know, 6 stud penetration is really, really, it's it's a lot. You you survive with it. You, 10, 10 studs is kind of overkill, but, you know, 6, you survive pretty easily. Added stylish, stylish toothbrush melee. Yeah, you, you're gonna kill people with a goddamn toothbrush now, alright? Don't question it, but you're, you're gonna kill people with a toothbrush. Added Worthy Melee, aka the Mjolnir. I, I don't... Why can they not change it from Worthy to Mjolnir? I, I, it's n Nordic mythology. I don't think it's copyrighted. They should just change it to Mjolnir. I, I don't think they could copyright Nor Nordic mythology. Can they do that? Has Marvel copyrighted the word Mjolnir, or do they have something else? For, or they, do do they just call it Force Hammer? Ah, oh, whatever. Added free free aced Norma ammo type for the AWM slash oh my god slash TRG. Increased movement slash aims. Uh, increased movement aim reload speed at the cost of performance. So performance in this instance is damage. Well, minimum damage, damage range, and yeah, that basically. And then you get just a gun that is faster than the scout in aim speed, which is pretty insane. Fix the judge missing rubber pellets ammo. So now that it has three pellets in its little. Shotgun shell thing with that does 50 damage ease each. I don't know if I would use it, but you know, it's there. Removed tracerless ammo from the judge. I yeah, I could see why. I gave jury a bunch of 410 bore ammo types, which is basically the judge shotgun shells and tracerless ammo. So basically, you have a gun with a uh, an aim choke of two, which is same, which is the same of as the Remington 870, and it's pretty good. I mean, it, it's okay actually. It's yeah, it's pretty okay. It's good, I guess. Gave extended magazines to the AG3 Para. It's uh, 32 bullets. You get a waste over re reload than what I, what it had before, even though it was slow before. And uh, I don't know, dude. I would not use extend mag if I'm gonna be honest. Like the reload is too slow for this gun. And last but not least, added rat shot ammo for the Zip 22, which is basically small shotgun shells for the Zip 22. <laughs> yeah. When they added a halbic device, which is ba which basically reverses your recoil, so you know it goes downward instead. I don't know. I I really can't find a use for this. <laughs> but yeah, 
that's everything that I added in this little update here. <laughs> little update, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button, buy my merch even if I don't have any. And I'll catch you in the next one, I guess. But we're trying to, we're kind of close to 25,000, not gonna lie. We're like, we're, how far are we away? Maybe 1,800 subscribers, which is not too far. We could reach that not mm, pretty soon, I think. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, buy my, my, buy my merch even if I don't have any. And I'll catch you in the next one.